November 1, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and nine months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 616 of Special Putin's three-day operations. Big picture. The plucky and determined Ukrainian defenders again have refused to accept the tyranny of the Kremlin on this day. The Ukrainian army has negotiated and defeated the enemy in no less than 68 combat engagements in the last day. Most of the line has seen very little change for a week, which could be a good sign for Ukraine. Russians killed or permanently disabled in Ukraine have surpassed 300,000. A large spike in Kremlin tank and artillery losses occurred in the last two days. Ragnar Gudmundsson suggests that the Kremlin's US dollar losses in Ukraine, in destroyed equipment, equals $41,600,000,000. Nipa line. According to both pro-Ukrainian and pro-Kremlin outlets, the Ukrainians continue to hold three footholds into the left bank of the Dnieper. Ukraine has not officially made a statement about these possible salients. One Kremlin mouthpiece reports that Ukraine has been able to execute troop rotations in a majority of the new footholds. Zaporizhia Front. The deep state mapping project suggests that Ukraine has taken ground west of Robotyne, on their way to Kopani, and then to Moscow. Some invader brigade movements have been reported in the last few days. However, Kremlin brigade counts remain relatively the same. East Front, Donetsk. The Kremlin has pushed the contested area one tree line in the fields north of Marienka. At Avdiivka, the invaders have gained more control over the rail lines in the north. South of the city the Kremlin's troops have taken a wasteland. Bakhmut area. Kremlin troops continue to attempt to invade Andreevka and Klishchivka, without success. No line changes reported. Oskil border front. Ukrainians continue to hold across this front. Near Kupiansk, in the face of two armored divisions, Kremlin air strikes, and Storm Z troops, Ukraine continues to inflict outsized damages to the invaders. Northern border. At least three Russian power stations have, perhaps suspiciously, caught fire in the last week. Kremlin anti-air assets claimed over 30 drones were shot down in the last 24 hours. Black Sea. Ukraine has successfully completed multiple drone and missile strikes across Crimea for three days in a row. Ukraine world related. The UN has reported that due to the Kremlin's actions, no less than 40% of Ukrainians require humanitarian aid. Belarusian Lukashenko has suggested that Ukraine and Russia should negotiate. The Dutch will be sending Patriot missiles to Ukraine in addition to the F-16. The Netherlands will be sending patrol vessels to assist Ukraine in keeping the grain corridor open. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.